What's up, everybody? Um, this is one true net. All right, he says like Kinnigit or something like that, but I'm still gonna call him one true knight. And I spelled true wrong if you notice right there. But <clears throat> one true knight is what his name is to me because it looks like it. So this is his class, and um, it's Minuzi Acog. Uh, he's in this game with me, and he told me to put. I don't can't remember the perks he told me to put on. So I put Slide of Hand Slide and Power Ninja on, because I'm pretty sure that's what he said. And, um, yeah, he's, I don't know, he just, like, recently looked at my channel, and he was big, he wanted me to, like, give him a shout-out. He was a big deal on me giving him a shout-out, so, <sighs> one true night, I don't know what else I should say. One true night, 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 there you go. I said your name like six times. You should be happy now. But anyways, he told me to use the Minuzi ACOG secondary M10 with a uh, with a grip. And if you saw right there, some guy was shooting at me with the PB2000. If you could hear it, um, and I saw him. That's why I'm running all the way around, and I kind of flank him. I do like a super duper flank, and he ends up still camping there. And that's how I knew the guy was right there, because <laughs> he was shooting like an idiot and didn't even move. It's the definition of a camper. And, um, <clears throat> right here, just taking B. I throw some stuns out this doorway just to prevent anyone from coming up from like the street or C area. And um, and I did get a hit marker, and it kind of deters people from even coming to the B area. They usually end up going all the way around and going up the stairs into that one building that looks at B through the window. But anyways, um, yeah, if you notice, you'll see one, two nights mic lighting up like right there he's talking we we're talking about my channel actually during this game and um he said he wanted me to use this this setup and um and i said all right i'll just see if i can get the gameplay real quick and i ended up getting it this 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 game it only took me one game to get this gameplay and i wasn't concerned on getting a super high score since this is a fun episode i'm pretty sure it's fun episode seven i think and um so i wasn't super concerned in getting like a really high kd ratio so I just did a decent game, and I didn't see that guy at all on the map. Whatever. Um, so let's see. Uh, I was running three, four, five. I think I had. Oh no, no, I did have care package on. Yeah, I always have three, four, five on pretty much now. So <laughs> you can pretty much expect three, four, five. Oh yeah, I'm also playing with F F for War, aka Fuzzy the Pirate. Look at that. Look at this kill cam. This guy was just like shooting in the doorway and I just happened to be in like the worst area. That sucked. But anyways, hold on, let me turn this down. This is really loud in my ears. I want to talk about KD ratio right now. Just because I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Um, KD ratio, a lot of people think that KD ratio means like, means you're a good player or a bad player, whether you have a high one or a low one. And, I don't know, I guess it is somewhat of a decent kind of, it just gauges where that player's kind of is, or where they are somewhat, but the, realistically, the whole number itself, like, the, its exact number doesn't really mean anything. If I have, like, a 1, a 1, 6, 4, and someone has a 1, 6, 5, it doesn't make them better than me, because... Especially in this game, because there's so many things that you could just be a very unlucky person and happen to always be getting new to. The predator missile always goes for you. You always get hit by airstrikes, and and COD 4 was a little bit more accurate. In this game, it's so far off, and especially when, as you can see, I had do like the fun episode. So it's not like I'm tryharding as hard as I possibly can every game. And for those of you who are wondering, my KD ratio is like 1.32. It's been going up recently because my little brother hasn't been playing on the account anymore. He's made his own account, so it's been going up, but <clears throat> um, I can't even remember what I was saying. So, oh yeah, and also like my KD ratio, it's ba it is a combination of mine and my little brother's, and my little brother isn't as good as me, so then he kind of brings it down and I bring it up, so it meets in the middle between of uh, between us, and um. I like I have the 1.32 and I guarantee I beat people on a regular basis with people with KD ratios way higher than that 
because the amount of messing around I do in this game is just absurd and I wish I doing stupid stuff and just lately I've been going into like my try hard mode just cause <clears throat> I've been playing with my friends and I found out we can win a lot easier if I try harder um, I can usually get top spot in the leaderboard look at this spawn look at these how these guys spawn what the hell that's some bull but anyways um if I try harder then I ended up end up winning more often just because my friends can't I mean just because I can usually get top spot on the leaderboard and I'm playing this game longer than most of my friends so I guess I'm a little bit more experienced in Modern Warfare 2 only. They have, they out cod forward me for sure, but in Modern Warfare 2 I'm a little bit more experienced. So, <sighs> when I try hard I usually do good, and that's why I was bringing my KD ratio up. Um, when I started off playing this game, it was uh, 0.87 I'm pretty sure. So. That just shows like where I've come from, because I was a pretty bad player. It wasn't like I started the first game, it was .87, it was like, it's settled. Because you know, like, when you first start playing and then your your KD ratio starts off kind of high usually, or it starts off low and then it, it kind of dips up and down and up and down and up and down and then finally like levels out somewhere. And then, so in the beginning where mine leveled out was like .87, so, <clears throat> yeah, I did suck, but um, I played a lot. I played a lot of this game and basically I've gotten up there now so I'm learning. I made a new account actually because there's like you can have two free accounts. Xbox Live like it lets you have two free accounts for some reason and um, like one month free and I started one and I played on it for a little bit uh, just by myself so I didn't have a team and I generally just unlocked Domination and played Domination by myself and I maintained like a one like a one six area without camping and with some shitty guns so I think if I really try hard I tried my hardest all the time non-stop and played game modes that I could own in non-stop I'd probably have somewhere around two-ish above two maybe but um I don't know my my play style doesn't really uh, it wouldn't I wouldn't be able to get a high KD ratio and I don't know what happened there I look I watched that back a couple times and Every single one of those seemed to hit someone, or should have hit someone, but I don't know what happened. I had some weird host slag, something like that, probably. And, um, yeah, but like I was saying, the whole KD thing, it really means nothing, because you never know how much someone messes around, how much they camp, because you don't know how easy it would be to get a KD. For me, I could get a high KD ratio. All I'd have to start doing, scavenger, claymore, silence tar, hide in a room somewhere so simple and that's how you just get a high KD ratio I mean you're not you're not really you don't help your team as much that's the problem with playing like that it's, it's just very it's, I don't know it's like a selfish way to play I, I think because you're only you're only stopping enemies that happen to walk into the room that you're camping in and that guy did the cushion to asshole um <laughs> if you could hear Fuzzy, he just said it because I said it when he did it, and then he repeated me. But yeah, um, yeah, you don't help and you don't help your team out that much when you camp in like a room and you set up claymores and everything. And then also, you build up like a certain comfort when you do that, where you like feel very safe and everything in that room. So then when you're out of your room, you're like out of your comfort zone, and you don't have your claymores. You're out of your comfort zone. So I'd steer away from doing that and. Also, in the series I was talking about making before, um, I'll probably, I'll probably go over stuff like that, like the class, I'm mean, the series of how to get better at Call of Duty, I'm probably going to go over, um, <clears throat> damn, what do you call it? Classes you should be using and stuff like that, but you guys will probably got to wait a little bit longer on that series just because I've been thinking about it a lot and it's been taking, it's going to take longer than I thought. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say during this commentary. There's only, like, a little bit left, so I'll let you guys just enjoy the rest of, like, the 30 seconds of gameplay, and see you guys later. Peace.
A secure. Counter UAV standing by. Repeat. Counter UAV. Ready for deployment. Mark the DC. Counter UAV is up. We lost B. Enemy care package. God damn it. Care package on the way.